Hey everybody, I don't normally do stuff like this, but the Lord has been challenging me even in the past week or so as I've been joining with my home church and other churches, of course, everywhere who are praying and fasting right now. I've just felt a real stirring in my spirit to be bold and to open my mouth and share the things that, that the Holy Spirit is stirring in me. I, I just feel a fire burning inside of me right now. And so there's some things I'd, I'd like to share and so I'll be doing that as, as I can. The Lord spoke to me pretty clearly about um, for this year, for 2021. And I'm not saying this just because I'm a worship leader, <laughs> but the strategy of praise, it's so important for the ecclesia, the, the body of Christ to understand how to take up praise as a weapon. You know, praise puts the focus where it belongs. Praise puts our focus, it takes it off of our challenges, um, our problems, our circumstances, and it puts our focus on God. It puts our focus on the Lord. You know, that's why David says, magnify the Lord with me. Let's exalt his name together. Let's magnify him. In other words, let's look at how, let's make a big deal about God. Let's look at how great he is. Not just that, but then we sing it. You know, praise in the Bible is most of the time, it's a corporate activity that's going on. And we need to understand the value of corporate praise and what it releases, what we're doing. I believe praise is going to be so strategic for seeing the breakthrough that, that, that's coming, that the Lord's going to bring. So we're partnering with Jesus in this season like never before in the place of praise. I heard this prophetic word um, on Facebook the other day that, I, I mean, it, it grabbed my attention so strongly because it... First of all, some of the things that were said totally confirmed what God spoke to me. I don't even know how to pronounce this man's name. I think it's Keenan, Keenan Bridges, and uh, he's a pastor with a real prophetic anointing. The, the word that he gave was potent. And I want to just direct your attention to something that he said. He was talking about, I'm going to look over here on the screen at the scripture, 2 Chronicles 20, 21, okay? Second Chronicles 20, 21. Now this, this verse is inside of a story that I absolutely love. Um, it's the story of King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah. Um, when there are three different um, enemies, three different armies bearing down on this nation, the king is basically seeking the Lord. He's seeking counsel to know what to do. And the word of the Lord comes forth. The strategy that God gives them, he's like, you're not going to have to fight this battle. Just go out and stand and, and see how I fight for you, essentially, right? And then what they choose to do in partnership with this word, with this prophetic word, they, they mix faith with the prophetic word and they go out there and they put their singers, they put the praisers on the front line, right? So when we look at Second Chronicles 20, 21, that's the verse where um, after the king had taken counsel with the people, it says he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord and praise him in holy attire as they went before the army saying, give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. This is Second Chronicles 20, 21. Catch that. So I think this is really cool how the Lord does numbers and stuff and how he speaks to us. Praise as a weapon, putting our praise on the front line. That's how we partner with the prophetic word. We mix faith with it and then we put our praise on the front line. That's just, that's the word that for me is resonating so strongly in my spirit. It's time in our, in our corporate gatherings, we need to lay hold of some things that maybe we forgot about. I mean, this is basic stuff. Praise, high praise, proclamation, the high praises of God in our mouths. This is how we go into battle and we keep our eyes focused on the Lord Jesus. Okay, so I just want to encourage you with that today. Keep praise on your lips. Magnify the Lord. Stay in that place of being seated with Christ in heavenly places. Stay in that position with him. And remember the words that the Lord has given you personally, the word that the Lord has spoken over your church, your city, our nation. And we mix our faith with that. And then we begin to praise the Lord and we move forward together as the body of Christ in this season. God bless you. And uh, I'll, I'll do this again sometime, maybe. Take care.